All right, I'm going to take just a moment to show you what I think is a pretty interesting little presentation here. Anybody who has ever configured or calibrated a heart instrument before is familiar with this layout. What we've got here is the necessary components to configure a heart smart transmitter through a hardwired network, okay? So there's a couple of components necessary here. First of all, the heart-based instrument. Second of all, we've got a heart configuration software running typically in one of two configurations, either on a laptop computer, which is quite common these days. Uh, and let me get back to that, okay. Uh, this is a standard heart configuration software running on a laptop, or a heart communicator, uh, and then finally a 24 volt power supply. So what we've got is the instrument, we've got a configuration tool of one fashion or another, We've got a digital multimeter here for reading the 4 to 20 milliamp loop. We've got a power supply. We've got a 250 ohm resistor that may or may not be necessary. Uh, and then we've got a whole array of uh, little jumper wires or uh, you know little test leads with alligator clips on them. So you end up with a fairly jumbled up mess here in order to power the instrument, uh, provide the necessary impedance so that you can measure across the uh, uh, the resistor so that the uh, communications tool works properly um, and of course the digital multimeter for reading the 4 to 20 milliamp output. Now what we're saying is that we've got a tool here that will drastically improve how you go about doing that. First of all, if you're using a laptop then you've got to have a modem. Here we've got a uh, MacTech Viator USB modem that we use typically that we sell. Uh, and MacTech also makes a Bluetooth version of that, which is really cool. So it connects to your Bluetooth-enabled laptop. Uh, I take that back, I'm sorry. It connects to the instrument in the field and then talks to your laptop through uh, the Bluetooth card that uh, uh, is necessary in the laptop. So now you're communicating with whatever that instrument is. Maybe it's a micro-motion 40 feet up in the air. You're communicating it through a Bluetooth network uh, with a Bluetooth adapter attached to the instrument in the field. Um, and then the uh, Bluetooth card in your laptop. So that's a real cool feature, but that's not what we're talking about today. You've got a uh, heart modem here that's required. I'm going to step out for just a minute and remove the, uh, remove the 475 communicator, because in this case a 375 communicator, because that just kind of gets in the way. So we're going to configure this using the laptop. Uh, and instead of using the modem that is very typical that everybody probably already owns and all of this other craziness, what we're going to do is to drastically clean this up, okay? The way that we're going to do that is by using an instrument called the Power Express that we sell that allows you to do a couple of things. First of all, it replaces the need for the 24 volt power supply because what I'm fixing to do now is to power this instrument directly off the USB port on the computer. So I'm going to plug this device in. In fact, let me, uh, I'm going to remove the heart modem that we've been using and I'm going to plug in the Power Express module which comes with, <coughs> excuse me, its own test leads which are obviously pretty important. You can see already that the light is on. That's indicating that I have power. So the interesting thing here is that I'm going to power this instrument. I'm getting rid of my 250 ohm resistor since that's internal here. All right, I'm getting rid of my power supply. Let me move again the communicator out of the way. This could just as easily be presented with the communicator instead. But we'll leave the digital multimeter just in case. But so I'm going to connect to the field instrument that I'm going to calibrate and then through the through the uh, Power Express module, I'm going to power the instrument. So now what I'm doing is providing loop power out of my USB port to the smart instrument, and this is also taking the place of my heart modem. So now with my configuration software, that is all that I've got. If I remove the uh, multimeter for a moment. We just got rid of all sorts of connections. You can see how pretty that is, all right, relative to what we had. So you've got a power source and a heart modem, all in this nice little package, USB connection, and then to the instrument on the other end. 
The real cool thing about it is it's, it has a 250 ohm resistor integral if you need it, it's there. You also have test points on the front of this thing. So if I want to connect my, uh, my communicator, my 475, instead of my laptop, obviously I'm getting power through the laptop, but the communicator or handheld device will connect here. You've got test points, very easy to connect it. In addition, you've got the 4 to 20 milliamp loop on this side, a couple of test points. So if you want to measure the 4 to 20, there it is. So you can see, versus what we had, how neat and clean this is, and what a terrific little tool that becomes in the world of calibrating and configuring heart smart devices.